In our first video, titled Interface, we covered some of the basics of the KnifePrint Editor's user interface. Now it's time to start learning how we can use the KnifePrint Editor to design knives with precision and accuracy, even without any previous CAD experience. In this second of a series of video tutorials, we'll look at the KnifePrint Design Editor fundamentals. We'll learn about paths, nodes, and the different parts of a knife structure within KnifePrint. The first step in designing a knife project in KnifePrint Editor is to create the outline of the knife profile itself. In KnifePrint Editor, this outline is made up of paths. KnifePrint Editor allows users to create vector paths, which are a series of defined lines, curves, and points, or nodes, that can be edited and modified at a later time. A knife can be made up of many paths. To start a new project, simply follow the instruction prompt at the top left of the user interface. This prompt can be turned off after you become familiar with the process. You will use the Bezier tool to begin to define the outline or path of the knife. Upon starting a new project, the Bezier tool is automatically activated. To draw the basic profile of the knife, start from anywhere on the drawing grid and left click to place your first point or node. Continue drawing your knife path outline by continuing to drag your cursor in the desired direction and left clicking wherever you'd like to add a node until your path is complete. To complete the outline path of your knife, simply finish your last path by clicking at the point where you started. Every line you've just created is considered a path. At any point in the process, you can right click to reset the drawing, which deletes all current paths and lets you start over. We'll learn a little later on how to use the Select tool to manipulate paths and add curves. Nodes are created each time you left click when creating your knife path. The nodes are basically what hold all your knife path lines together and allow you to manipulate the final shape of the knife. They consist of an anchor point and can also have an incoming and outgoing handle depending on what state the node is in. Nodes and handles can both be manipulated. Nodes and their handles are manipulated using the Select tool, which is automatically activated upon completing your knife path. When manipulating nodes, you can switch them between four different states – angles, symmetric, smooth, and separate. To begin manipulating nodes or their states, simply click on the knife profile to highlight all the nodes present in the profile, then right-click to select the specific node you would like to manipulate. Once a node is selected, you can change its state by clicking on one of the four different state handle icons at the top of the drawing grid. You can also modify the node or its handles by left-clicking and holding down while you maneuver the cursor. Alternatively, you can right-click on a node to delete it from the knife profile. When a node is in an angle state, it has no handles and therefore no left or right curve. This means that manipulating the node in this state will not create any curvatures. It will only increase or decrease the amount of the angle the node makes. This state would be used when trying to create a blade with a very sharp edge, like a Tanto blade, or the point on a Skinner knife. When a node is smooth, both its handles form a straight line, but each one has a different distance from the anchor point. This means that the curvature on either side of the node can be manipulated independently from the other. This is perfect for when you need non-symmetric curves, like making a uniquely curved handle for a better grip on a hunting knife. A symmetric node means that both handles form a straight line and they keep the same distance from the anchor point when manipulating. Moving one handle changes the position of the other symmetrically. 
This is a great option to use when wanting to add curvature to a knife, such as adding an exaggerated belly on a Bowie knife, for example. A main point to remember here is that however you choose to manipulate one of the node handles, the other handle will have the same result. A node in separate state has handles that can move separately, as well as form their own curves. This can be used to create very precise and unique curves. One use of the separate state node would be the finger guard on a chef's knife, for example. Every project in the knife print editor consists of the entire knife structure. This structure includes the basic knife shape, the blade, the drill holes, created with the drill tool and modified with the select tool, and the bezier lines that might be added to show the bevel of the blade or the outline of the handle. Important things to point out are that after the blade is created, it cannot be deleted. It can only be changed. Also, when exporting your project in DXF format, only the holes and the blade are exported so that the design is compatible with CNC machines.